the nightcap and series finale of our doubleheader between Georgia Tech, Notre Dame, moments away from getting cooked up. Plays a little harder than it looks. And this ball roped into left field, down for a base hit. Campbell gathers on a hop, nearly slipped. The throw will come into second, but it's going to be a one-out double for Zach Preisner. If guys are just getting a free look. And a high fly ball, deep right field. If it's fair, that's going to be a grand slam. And it is Jack Penny with a grand slam. And Notre Dame leads 5 nothing. And a fly ball struck well. Deep center field. DeLeo's giving up on it. It's on top of the speaker tower. Carter putts. 418 feet. Runner taken off, and this ball is sit sharply into right. Gets past DeLeo. Got a piece of it in right center. Jewair is going to come in and score. It's an RBI double for Jack Penny. And that ground ball up the middle and through. Williams racing around third. He will score without a throw, and Notre Dame has now scored eight runs in three-plus innings. It's Nick Jewer at the plate, and he lays down a bunt. Despina going to have to go to first, and they take the sure out there, but a sack bunt scores Coatsy, and it is 9-3 Notre Dame. But he scalds a line drive into center field. Notre Dame puts up another run. Here's to Brooke Coatsy. It's from his, from his Marlins days as well. Oh, Vinny Martinez with an assault of a bat flip on that one. Man. And he deserved it, absolutely crushed it. 434 feet, 115 miles per hour. And for Martinez, that's his first home run for Notre Dame. And a ground ball through the left side for a base hit. Here comes Penny trying to score. The throw to the plate gets away from Minnick. Penny's in, and the runners will move up 90 feet after the errant throw. Well, you know, if you can sweep a team or two here and there. Flare into shallow center. Moreno's got it, and Notre Dame officially salvages the final game of this series, 17-4. to